Hi Stern students, it's Mrs. Harrington. I hope everybody is doing well during our time off from school and I hope you're finding some fun things to do with your family. Special shout out to my fourth grade friends. I miss you guys and um, I hope to see you soon. Today I'm going to read a classic book for you, Where the Wild Things Are, Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. I hope you enjoy it. The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. There he is making a fort. And another, chasing his dog. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Uh oh. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Ooh, look at them. And they made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And they're dancing and jumping and hanging from the vines. It looks like fun. And they're parading around and there's Max, the king of the wild things. Now stop, Max said and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. I hope you enjoyed that book. Take care and I'll see you soon.